All right, taking a look at the field here, saying goodbye to the roof and race room. I qualify 10th out of a 24 car field. AI at 102%. All right, here we go. Thank you, sir. Got my crew chief app going. Go, go, go. It's very funny, too. I turned on the swearing part. <laughs> Sometimes it gets, uh, it gets a bit snippy with me. It's hilarious. So if you hear any, any bleeping of words, it's, it's the crew chief getting after me. All right. In 10th, don't know how far forward we can go. Whoa. That was not on purpose. Oh, he's pushing me off the track. Let's get back on. Oh, and then I over rev the motor. Yes, thank you, sir. Oh, geez, these guys are brutal right now. Easy. They are pushing on me left and right. Okay, fell back one spot. I think the hardest thing about race room is you don't get to change the tire, uh, how much air is in the tire. And uh, that kind of messes with my tuning, along with them trying to keep these cars together uh, in like more like a spec class. So you can't change diff settings, things of that nature. So I have to kind of work around my usual go-tos in setting up a car. Myself behind is now 0.64. Thank you for your insight. So one of the fun things is, I mean, the crew chief app really would come in handy in longer races. Oh. But it's pretty cool to have this guy talk. Oh boy. Car left. Got on the brakes sooner than I thought he was going to get on the brakes. Like, I can ask him what tire temps there are. I'll do it in a minute here. Oh, let me go by. Wow, that guy in the Mercedes really held on to the car. Pass. Car right. He's still there. That was a bit of a jerk move. But I was tired of being behind. All right, so back to 10th. And this is not my best car. I, I'm considerably slower with this car than the Mercedes. But again, this is kind of a special race that George inspired. The guys that he raced with did a tribute race before they get rid of the roof completely from race room. Now, if you have downloaded it, you will be able to still use it. Uh, it's only if you don't download it before they take it away, then it's obviously not available. But if you've already downloaded it, it's still going to be available to you. Oh, I thought about it and I waited too long, hesitated. All right, let's ask my true crew chief about tire temps. Thank you. Tire temps. Front left, 141. Front right, 146. Left rear, 168. Rear right, 165. Fahrenheit. Okay, Bill, there are chances here. Let's make sure we can take a P10. Good luck. That's your quickest today. Sector 1 is 0 0.90. Off the base. Gap 2. Carpenter. <laughs> I love it. It's great. So there's a lead change up front. And you can tailor it to how much info you need and want. You can tell him to be quiet if he's annoying you. So there's all kinds of ways to set this up. I was just, I'd seen a bunch of people use it before. And of course, I was watching George's stream and it inspired me because they were doing a longer race. Which I think this is where this would really come in handy. That, uh, it just sounded cool. It's a neat idea. I'm 
Trying to find a way by this Audi. Tires seem to, the front tires seem to go cold real quick on this car. Oh. Ugh. Dang it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was going to give me room. Obviously not. That's what I get for dive bombing. Left side, clear left. Trying to get by this guy. It's really hard not to over rev with this car too. But anyway, getting back to the front tires, you heard him say. You heard him say that uh, the front tires got cold. And trying to find a way to get the front tires hot is pretty hard. Clear left. Because there's no way to adjust the tire pressures. Come on, Bill. Good stuff. Keep it coming. Yes, sir. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, he cussed at me because one time I, I flew off the track. <laughs> it was pretty fun. I started laughing. It was great. Oh, got on the throttle way too early. But there's all kinds of commands you can do. Here. I'm not going to get by. Ooh, they're getting dicey. Let's see if we can get a run here. Oh, I thought there was more room. That was funny. Actually, that was really dumb. Oh, this isn't going to work. Got the one guy to move over. There we go. I took some rear wing out, get a little more straight lighting speed down the straightaway. Doesn't seem to really upset the balance of the car too much. As far as trying to get... Thank you. Get heat in the tires. Uh, I've tried playing with the track bar, or not the track bar, the um, sway bar in the front. And then playing with the camber does a little bit, doesn't seem to do a whole lot to make the tires warmer, which is what I wanted. That's okay. Okay, Bill, this bastard's holding you up. You've got to find a way past. <laughs> Jeez! That was great. Thank you. Oh, it adds a bit of levity to my racing. That's hysterical. Right side. That was awesome. Right side's clear. Car right. Clear right. Hell yeah. You know, overall this car doesn't feel bad, it just... It, whoa, understeers a little bit too much for me. Freebies. Thank you. Alright. That'll make up for getting held up at the beginning. Green flag. The next car is Nongia, Green flag, oh. sector 2. Maybe the incident wasn't clear and I wasn't supposed to pass. Whoopsie. I thought we were clear. Try not to run this guy over under braking. Yeah, I'm not getting through there as good as I should. Oh, doggone it. You know, the lower wing in the back doesn't help me when I keep messing up my engine. What are you doing, man? He's getting him away. do it. I'm not going to try a dive bomb again. 
Bernardi, who is now leading. All right, another pass for the lead. That's entertaining. He just gives you so much info. God, start it. Ten minutes left. Ten minutes to go. All right, so we're halfway through. I don't have to look at so many things. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And it's super easy to set up. There's instructions that come in it. It just, um, yeah, it, it's, I was afraid it was going to be kind of hard to set up. That's why I never really got into it. And then George said that it wasn't. I was like, all right, let me give it a shot. And it's not. It really isn't. Breaks early so we don't run into this guy. You've got half your fuel left. Now, so we've got a little excess fuel. That's a new fastest lap for Gerhardt, 147.61, two tenths off the pace in sector three. Okay. I do like that. I do like that he's telling me how far off the pace I am in the different sectors. I like that a lot. It is very useful information. Gotta be careful. These guys break a little earlier. Let's see if he gets mad because I'm not clearing this guy. Oh, oh, wow. Left. Yellow flag. Well, that wasn't good. Damn it. Okay, Bill, get ready. All right, thank you, sir. That's Jim. Green, green, green. With my pit crew or crew chief app. The actual name evades me. All right, gotta watch these guys. Oh, oh, nailed him. We do have damage on. Hopefully that's not too bad. Could not avoid him at all. Now we got to catch up to the other guys here. He did gain a position because he got sideways. But yeah, this crew chief, app, uh, crew chief app. I saw George using it, and found it very intriguing. I've seen other people use it before, but I thought it was going to be complicated to set up. It really isn't. There's instructions in there. It's super easy, and there's settings like there's a cursing setting. You might hear it in here. The captain, Lindstrom, behind us now. One point one seven. He's told me this is my first recorded race using this, but I've done a couple practice races with it. I've heard him say, pass the bastard, he's slowing us up, stuff like that. It's it's hilarious. And when you go off the track or get a course cut penalty, he'll cuss at you. It is, now it is super funny. Like it adds moments of it adds moments of levity. And you can ask him a bunch of different stuff gives you sector times it's great oh, oh you jerk you moved over on me okay you don't want to run over him on under braking here okay Bill keep on the pressure he'll make a mistake yes sir Get in here all right well done, fella. Thanks, Jim. But if we wanted to, we could ask him tire temps. Tire temps. Front left, 146. Right front, 152. Rear left, 172. Right rear, 172. Fahrenheit. See? That's just really cool. Gotta quit over revving this motor. It's so easy.
Car doesn't feel too bad, so we don't have that much damage. I kind of squared that guy up anyways when he was spinning. I just helped him a little, that's all. BMW's getting squirrely. Awesome. I mean, he says my name. Sort of. So I'm slow. <laughs> I'm not going to try it. That's just going to end up in a big wad. Got to figure out how to get by the BMW here. You know what? I don't run this car that often. Oh my goodness! He did not just say that. That was so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, I might have clipped the mic, but holy crap, that's funny. Oh my gosh. Like I said, moments of levity while you're racing. That was hysterical. I'm not even going to repeat the word that he said. Left side. Still there. Left side. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh. Left. What a jerk. At least he's fighting for the position. 15 minutes left. Oh, man, it's only been five minutes. Holy cow. And that's the problem with this car. I've tried a bunch of stuff trying to get the tires warm up, but the one thing, one criticism I will level at race room is you can't adjust tire temp or uh, pressures. So I have no way of trying to help. I mean, I've tried changing the camber, uh, sway bars. But anyway, I've made some Thank you. I made some adjustments to the front end, trying to get some heat in the tires, and it's just not working. I'll muscle that guy over a little bit. Oh, 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 he pushes me off in the dirt. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Car right, clear right. Ah, I thought I could get him. And with race room, you go off. It actually picks up the stuff on your tires. Well, that sucks. Basically, gave up those spots that I gained under. Probably not supposed to pass. God dang it. Pay attention. Car right. Just need to stay ahead of him under braking. Still bad. Nope, go away. Still there. No, no. Still there. I took one click out of rear wing. Clear right. The eight. That was a one fifty. One two two. Sector one is two five zero off the pace. Well, that's because I got hosed. Don't criticize me so much, Jim. Oh, oh, oh! Too much curb. Holy cow. On your right. Right side's clear. Car right. Still there. Oh, I knew he was going to do that. Get away. Car 
right, Gerhardt is leading the race. Right side's clear. On your left. He's still there. Clear left. I'm making a mess of this race. Well, can't say it's not an exciting send-off for the roof brand and race room. Again, if you have the roof cars already, they're not going to go anywhere. You're still going to have them to drive. It's only the people that don't purchase them before they take them out of the store. So that's what this means. If you got them already, you're fine. All right, let's see if we can reel some people in here. I don't want to be back this far. Ah, should have shifted. It's tough because you're trying to take it right to the limit. Getting along the guy in front, the gap is zero point nine six. He's pretty slow into Tosa. Okay. Too bad I don't know what corner that is. I'm sorry. There we go. I got your number. Car right. Right side's clear. Well done, Bill. Nice move, mate. Thank you, Jim. The next car is Lenardi. Again. Bit of a freight train in front of us. Come on, head up. Keep your focus further down the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's very demanding. It is fun though having this crew chief app. Again, it's more useful, I think, during a Longer race. Car right. Right. right side's clear. Wasn't on purpose. I think it would be more useful on a longer race, but this is still, it's still fun. And it's good info while you're running. And you can change how much he says when he says it, all that. I wasn't gonna, okay. Car right. Give me the spot. I'll take it. Still there. Still there. Clear right, car right. All right. Disposal. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. Well done. Nice run now. So we've got a little excess fuel. I do. Nice and smooth with that front. Keep it balanced. Sixth place. You've just done a 147.67. Little safety lift there. And again. Trying to make sure that the car sticks going through the corner because the tire, the front tires are cold. I love it. I love that he knows the names. It's just that little extra bit of immersion. It really is fantastically done. And it's available. It should work on other sims too, like Project Cars. I believe it works on Assetto Corsa, Automobilista. Left side. There we go. Yes, gimme. Why, thank you, sir. Up to fourth. A lot of work. I did have to turn the force feedback multiplier on the car down because this one seems pretty heavy. Okay, Bill. 
stay close, wait for him to make a mistake. He's slow into Gosa. If I knew what corner that was, we'd be golden. Got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. And by the way, just because I don't know what corner it is doesn't mean I don't Clear like left. Clear left. Imola. It's one of my favorite tracks. I just like the flow it has. But yeah, sorry, I don't memorize corner names real well. Typical, uh, that one turn with the other turns, and then there was a straight part. Uh, the back side of the course, yeah, that's it. See what, even, you know, with the physics update, you still feel like you can hustle the car, even though it's not really to my liking. As far as my driving style, it's still a fun car to try to wrestle around the track. Dang it! Oh, good grief, Billy. The gap to Donchier in front is now 0.21. Here we go. Get a run on him. Come on. Still got a little bit to go. Gotta be careful though, I'm gonna run over him if I'm not paying attention. It's just too risky to try to muscle my way in there. I'm not close enough. Oh, please don't hit me. Yeah, but I was gonna end up. Oh. Okay, I thought there was gonna be more room. That was my fault. I would have never done that if it was a human, but I thought he was going to move over and not keep such a tight line. It uh, makes it for an exciting race. It's unpredictable. find a way by this Mercedes. Boy, he's really defending, too. Right. right side's clear. Right side. Oh, that is not exactly what I was thinking, but he left the door open. The car ahead is Dotsky. Push. Get second place here. All right. Spin the tire a little bit. How's my tires? Say again. P3, sector one is 1.30 off the pace. Your sector two tire is quick. Your two tenths off the pace in sector three. He is kind of dependent on exactly the phrase that you say and trying to remember all the phrases, quite frankly. Tire wear. Tire wear looks fine, mate. Okay, there we are. That's it. Just trying to remember, like, how to phrase it to him. So I'm obviously pretty quick in sector one. The gap is now 0.44. He's slow into closer. Don't have that much longer to try and pass two cars here. I'm not going to be able to pass him here. I like that there's a Mustang up here, though. Gamer Muscle didn't want to run the Mustang the other day. Tried to get him to do it. He just wasn't having it. Oh, 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 oh. Boy, boy. Billy, 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 Billy. What are you doing? Jeez. Surprised he didn't yell at me. Because that was really stupid. All that time I gained, just up in flames. Oh, 
Ugh. Stop it. I cannot believe I did that. That's a really rookie mistake. That's the hard part about following somebody in line. You should always kind of pull out to see where you're at. Because my wheel is lined up right with the wheel in the game, so. Okay, Bill, the five minutes of fuel remaining. A little too much fuel. Deep into that turn. Now, zero, six, two. There we go. Nice pass. I think that's the C6 in front of us. Not the newer C7. I wasn't going to make it. Let's pay attention to this turn this time, huh? Oh, he gets sideways. Oh no, no! Clear right. Yellow flag. Just had a warning for cutting the track. Oh man. On your right. Clear right. Oh, that's a bummer. I got greedy. I should have given him more room. Oh, what a loser. I just, I saw the opening and I tried to take it. Oh, and it's the final lap. Oh, God, I can't even get by anybody. Oh. That's the end of the race. We'll get him next time. Yeah, I'd say so. What a terrible way to have a send-off at the very end. But it was an exciting race nonetheless. Definitely a... It'll be interesting to see how a car like this compares to the Porsche. Alright, that was one heck of a race. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Especially, that's the first time that uh, I've used the Crew Chief app in a full 20-minute race. So, it is it is entertaining. It's almost probably a little distracting. I'll probably have to get used to it or tone down some of the comments that he's making. but. Overall, he's getting given a lot of useful information, so definitely use it again. Probably tweak it some to more to my liking. But yeah, I've been strange. You guys have been great. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a great Christmas, by the way. And I will catch you in the next video.